with like a little pumpkin, salted caramel macchiato. So I think I'm gonna get a smaller one. Aquaphor is not lip gloss. I'm calling it self care. I just got off work and I need to decide what the heck I'm gonna eat because I'm actually starving. I'm so hungry right now. Not even funny. It is two o'clock and today I've eaten a granola bar. Of course, I'm driving past Chick-fil-A, but today is Sunday. Oh, I almost hit this man. Sorry, dude. Can I have a um, double double meal with cooked onions and no tomato? Or do you think I'm gonna do a Coke? Ketchup? Yes, please. I got a little double double and some fries. I actually used to hate In N Out fries because they tasted too much like potatoes to me, which might not make sense, but I don't know. I just didn't like them. But, anyways, it is about that time now where I'm starting to get low on like all of my hygiene products and stuff. And it is also about that time where it is fall. I don't know. Okay, well. Technically, it's not fall, but technically, I consider the month of September fall, and I feel like everybody else does too. There's also a Bath and Body Works right here, but I think the best deal that they have right now is buy two three wick candles and get two free, which I don't know about y'all, but to me, that's not really a good deal because I don't want to spend $50 on four candles, so I'm just gonna have to hold off on that. I need to get another one of these Gold Bond Radiant. Coconut formula from Palmer's. I used to like the cocoa butter one, but the smell of it isn't really the best. I actually wanted to get the coconut oil Cantu lotion, but they only sell it online here, so I might have to go to Walmart and get that. I don't know. Palmer's just isn't the best with the scents, I feel like. Y'all know I love my EOS or EOS, whatever you call it, chapsticks, and they have these fall scented ones. I was looking at this one, but I don't really like the ball one. I like the sticks better, so I might try these two. Whipped pumpkin latte and salted caramel okay. macchiato. I tried this lip gloss or lip butter or whatever at my sister's house and I tried to steal it, I'm not gonna lie, but she wouldn't let me, so gotta get my own. <laughs> ah. I also need to grab some like face razors or eyebrow razors, but for some reason I can never remember where the hell they keep them in here. I think the Target that I'm at is like one of the only ones that's set up this way and I always get lost in here. So my skin is a little bit too sensitive for scented products, but I've heard that this one is really good and it smells really good. And to me, it's fall vibe, so recommend trying this one. And also this coconut and coffee scrub and wash I've heard is good. I can't vouch too much because I haven't tried them myself, but that's just what I've heard. They have a bunch of candles back here on clearance and they all smell super good, but I feel like when I burn candles that I get from Target. I can never really smell them, but look at how cute this one is. It's like a little pumpkin. This brand, I like how many designs they have. Like this, this one is vanilla pumpkin. This is vanilla pumpkin. This one is vanilla pumpkin. So cute. I just found these little Aveeno hand masks and I was gonna say that I wish they had ones for your feet because I don't really need a hand mask, but they have the foot mask back here and I think they're only $2.99, so I'm gonna grab one of these. I actually might get two of them just in case I like it. Also, just in case Jeremy wants one because anytime I try something new and I don't bring one for him, he's like, where's mine? This is probably the most annoying thing about coming to Walmart. I get the medicine being locked up, but sometimes the most random shit like lotion or hair like shampoo and stuff is locked up. It's just annoying because I have to stand here and wait for somebody to come freaking open this thing. It is my freaking lucky day. This is exactly what I wanted and someone left it out. I found the Cantu lotion that I was looking for. The one that I have, or I should say the one that I had at home because it's almost gone, was like a full pump bottle, but they only have these squeezy tubes 
tubes this time also. I actually just realized that this is not the one that I want. The one that I like is the coconut oil, but this one is shea butter, and then this one is cocoa butter. They look very similar in the packaging, but I want the coconut oil one, and I don't think they have it. Unfortunately, that was like the main thing that I came in here for. So I didn't film that much while I was shopping, especially at Walmart. I don't know, I just felt like there was a lot of people out today, but now that I think about it, it is Sunday, so a lot of people don't have work today, and a lot of people do their shopping on the weekends. So I'm just casually over here minding my business, and then I looked up and saw this freaking plant. <gasps> That's sad, like what the? I only had succulents and a cactus in here, and all of them are dead, except for this one. I have this one here. It's been hanging on for a while, but he is not looking so great to say the least. Like he's kind of dying. They're not growing and I don't really know. I think I'm just gonna have to give up the plants thing until, I don't really know. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. The sun rises on this side. So for most of the day, the sun is above the house or on the other side. So I don't think my plants got enough sunlight or I overwatered them or something. But basically the plant thing is not for me at the moment. I was gonna do this orange, but you know, to match the fall vibes, but I don't know if I'm feeling the orange. I just can't tell if the orange lights are giving me fall or if they're giving me like, this lighting is a little yellow. Let me know how you guys feel about the orange lights, but I'm gonna stick to what I know for right now. Anyways. First, as you guys saw, I got the Gold Bond Ultimate Radiance Renewal Lotion for. It's super thick, but because of that, it is kind of hard to put on. But it is very moisturizing, probably one of the most moisturizing. Like for me, sometimes I'll put on lotion when I get out the shower and then the next morning I'll be ashy again. But with this, that doesn't happen, especially with fall and the like cooler seasons coming, our skin tends to dry out a little more. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. I actually had a bigger bottle before and I left it in the car for like a couple couple of days and then it just kind of dried out and the bottle got all big because it was over 100 degrees outside. Then I got these EOS chapsticks. They're like a limited edition. Like fall flavors. So one is, what is this? Whipped pumpkin latte and the other is salted caramel macchiato, which both sound really good, but I will say I have tried other, actually let's try it right now. When they have like special flavor mixes and stuff like that, I've tried some before and I normally don't like them, but I just wanted to try these. They smell pretty good. Well, this one does anyway. Mm. For some reason, to me, the salted caramel macchiato one, the smell of it really reminds me of uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Like, okay, if you've ever made homemade chocolate chip cookies, it smells like the dough before you add the flour. So it smells like brown sugar, white sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, like whatever all the wet ingredients are. So I put this on before I went to bed last night and Jeremy said it smells like Jack Daniels Tennessee honey to him, so I guess it really just depends on the person. They also had the one that comes like in a little ball form, but I don't really like the ball one as much. I'm not really sure why, I just don't, I just prefer the sticks over the balls. Sounds weird, but yeah. Then I got this handy dandy old dry brush from EcoTools. I've actually never used a dry brush before, but lately my skin has been so freaking dry. Like once we got back from Hawaii, our skin has just been so dry and I think it's from all the like salt water and stuff. Okay, I'm always ashy when I get out the shower, but this level of ashy has been like next level ashy. I swear to you guys, my skin has been so, like when I dry my legs off with the towel, my skin like peels off, like I have dead skin that you can see rolling down off of my legs when I dry my skin because my skin is that dry. We're gonna see because I really need to exfoliate and smooth this skin. Another thing that I got are these Aveeno Repairing Sika Foot Masks with Prebiotic Oats and Shea Butter. My feet haven't been dry to the point where they're like cracking or anything but I do notice that they have been drier lately so I'm gonna try this out and I guess I'll update you guys and tell you how it is but I don't know it seems like it'll be pretty good if not it was only $2.99 so hey next is this lip butter from tree hut it says tree hut sugar lips it's a lip butter but when I put it on it really looks like a lip gloss I tried it on at my sister's house because she just had it like laying around it's like moisturizing and also like super glossy okay my whole face kind of looks shiny right now but 
but look at this gloss it's so cute it's like not sticky it smells good it's moisturizing usually i just use aquaphor as my gloss but when i put this on i realized that aquaphor is not lip gloss this is lip gloss don't remember how much it is but it wasn't that much i also picked up these face razors that i use these are the shake hydro silk touch up razors you could just use regular eyebrow razors and a lot of people just use eyebrow razors for their face but these have the girl shaving her face on them so it just makes me feel better about it I don't know while we're on razors I got these Big Soleil smooth razors just my little regular degulars my go-to Big Soleil razors and I got the orange one these are like orange yellow red for the fall vibes I honestly don't know if they put these out specifically for that reason because I don't think I've ever seen just like a solely orange pack it's usually like colorful or pinks or something I feel like they put these out for fall maybe they didn't I'm just telling myself that because I, I wanted them for that reason and lastly I got this coconut oil epsom salt now i usually am faithful to my dr teals but i've been wanting the dr teals coconut oil one for a long time and for some reason i haven't been able to find it again so i settled and i got the up and up brand at target so i'm just gonna hope actually let me just smell it right now I'm kind of disappointed. This smells like a hair product to me. The Dr. Teals one smells way better. It says compare to Dr. Teals and it should be left at that as a comparison because it's not like, it's not a dupe. I know I said lastly already, but I actually have a couple of like my little fall favorite things that I want to show you. It's really not that many things, so don't get that excited. But this pumpkin cupcake hand soap from Bath and Body Works smells so good and I've noticed I don't know how long they've been doing this for I know they didn't always but in their foaming hand soaps they have vitamin E shea extract aloe and other essential oils Ugh. This is the Cantu Coconut Oil Lotion. They only had it online at Target and then the Walmart that I went to had only the Shea Butter and the Cocoa Butter. And I'm glad that I noticed because I really almost bought the Cocoa Butter one thinking that it was going to be this one. It smells so good. It smells like cozy. It doesn't smell like your typical coconut oil lotion. I don't know how to explain it but this scent is just like more mild. It's more... It just is like a very warm scent to me. 10 out of 10 recommend. I've also been super into candles probably because it is fall season i feel like fall is like the only season that i can participate in like the scented stuff like i don't like candles or lotions or anything that smells like flowers or fruity and stuff like that like fall and winter scents are my thing so i kind of wait for fall and winter to come around all year so i can burn my candles <sighs> I'm actually probably about to burn this one right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Where's my lighter at? <laughs> this one I just got. It's the cinnamon spiced vanilla one from Bath and Body Works. But this is the White Barn one. So I'm pretty sure White Barn is like owned by Bath and Body Works. I don't know if this scent is like specific to White Barn though. Like can you get it at Bath and Body Works? I don't know. <sighs> oh, I just blew it out with my... <laughs> the lighter is hot. I'm considering candles in the self-care category this year because they make me feel good so I'm, I'm calling it self-care. My other fall kind of slash winter favorite candle scent is the sugared snickerdoodle also from Bath and Body Works. As you can see it's kind of more of one of the winter ones. I honestly don't even think they have it in store yet right now. It's pretty much burnt down to almost nothing at this point and I actually did want to get another one of these but like I said I don't think they even have it yet because I think it's one of their winter scents. Anyway make sure you guys like this video before you go leave me a comment subscribe turn your post notifications on and I'll see you in my next video bye